Terran favorite map though, it is going to be Antigua Shipyard. And here we go. Bottom of the map, the starting, uh, the player starting at the bottom is the uh, Terran, it is Keen, well, team MVP. And to the top we have his opponent, we have his teammate, Sniper in a 1-0 lead now, the Zerg player. And as you already just said, Wolf, the Hellion attack did not do enough damage in the last game. And that's exactly the, the defense of Sniper, that's exactly the reason why I expected Keen to go for a different build, because Sniper no, does not only know this build, everyone knows that Keen loves Hellions and that he uh, will go for one of those builds eventually. But Sniper is one of the practice partners that Keen has when he is executing all these builds, so he must have faced it countless times. That's why I found it a little bit odd that Keen doesn't try to play some kind of mind game where he, I don't know, just mixes things up completely and suddenly starts with Banshees or whatever. I mean, in the end, I don't care, but playing exactly the same style that you practiced against this guy so often that counts on your opponent, I don't want to say playing sloppy, but leaving you an opening that you can take advantage of, is not something that I did expect from King. Yeah, no, no denying. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised by it still. Uh, it's not necessarily bad, but you can't be more sneaky. And, you know, when you think about it another way, it's like, well, if you Sniper probably expects him to change things up, so he keeps his original style uh, and denies scout. That's still scary, but the defense was so good. You don't risk a lot by just defending well, oh. so... He's gonna go for a Command Star first here, which is not as characteristic for this map as, for example, a map like Whirlwind. But Sniper will see it right away. And in fact, if he chooses to, could go double hatch before pool. Definitely true talked about it a lot, occasionally we see it, depends on how the Zerg wants to play it. I wouldn't put it past the Sniper to actually pull it off. And he already adds a lot of harvesters because he knows that he can get away with them. Oh wow, you, you can get this SCV I think. Ah, just so not able to take it down. He has to repair. Yeah, he goes for the pool before he adds his uh, third hatch. <laughs> Very annoying drone. Yeah, just waits until he has enough hit points again. Finally, will be chased out. There's no way he's gonna be able to do any more damage here. I mean, except the lost my time with uh, while chasing SCB. Yeah. That's back now, and well, timing for the third base of Sniper is of course going to be pretty interesting right now. No, oh, is when is he gonna grab that? And will he take gas when you try to be more aggressive? It always changes things a little bit if you go for the third base. If you just rely on a no gas build, then you are happy to defend with Queens only on two bases as soon as you take the third base. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because there are more angles that a can current player can use in order to approach you. Not only if he goes for Hellions, but also if there's just a bit of marine pressure going on. You want to have a decent food spread between all three bases and just make sure that this middle is completely filled with creeps so that you can use your Queens in order to defend. But Usually with the third base you want to have gas a little bit earlier, a little bit faster so you can use the circlings as well to help you out. And there we have the gas on two bases. Yeah. It's uh, not something that, well, you know, thinking about how last game went, Kian took a risk, but he didn't attack well. But in the end he played pretty straight up game. He wasn't like taking big risks, he wasn't trying to get his third base up super fast, he was one being the aggressor. And I think Sniper actually may just change speed with this and then pull out. I don't think he's gonna actually go for the attack. Not a cross patient on the team though. Even speed though it's is basically all that you want at this point. Yeah. If you don't go for a Roach Baneling attack, then speed is what you need because you will be able to defend against Hellions with your harvesters and the extra queens that you're building, and then you can focus on the minerals again before you start your layer attack. So we have him now with a hundred gas. Speed should start any second, and let's see, didn't pull out just yet. Yeah, done, pulled out. So, we're gonna see some aggression. It's not like, it's not like the, oh, he didn't pull out for a few seconds, and then he pulls out later, he's actually going to so, Third base. A little bit interested in how many drones he's gonna add. If he, he can go, still go for a uh, Roach and Baneling attack, he gets double gas in his main base right now. Looks like he just wants to attack the Yeah. Actually here. Okay. Once they just attack timing, we'll probably add evolution chamber soon. More and more drones being built. He knows that Keen is focusing on his economy, but he still has to deal with the hell yet. So this time, Keen cannot hide the second factor. 650 tech for Sniper. And Keen with a lot of tech left. Shows 
is shows that uh, the factory is removed. It does not show the double reactor, so it's going to be double reactor Hellions with a ton of Mirage. He's going to do Marauder Hellion all in. Three Mirage being made at a time right now. Sniper, what are you going to do? Can he figure this one out? I actually think so. With how he's playing this now, I feel that if he spreads his creep well in the middle and he's doing a decent job, he will be able to approach this. He's getting everything that he needs. He has the Zerglings, he has the uh, uh, the Roaches on his way. So this attack, I mean, it's still strong and it com always comes down to the ratio that he uses with uh, Italians and Marauders. But right now, Keen has to be very careful because there is so much going on for Sniper. He has his tech, he has a bit of a window where he's vulnerable, but I think this window is going to close very soon, especially since he's now already starting his speed for the Roaches. He has definitely the opportunity to get Roaches in there. He even adds the Baneling Nest. I think that Keen is... If Keen isn't careful, he is going to be crushed. He doesn't have Gust of Shell started either. It's not as important in this matchup as it is, for example, Terror vs. Protoss, but I think it's an upgrade that's quite critical. It costs almost nothing for him to research that. It would slow down the Marauder's touch. Uh, I think that you know, even retreating Roaches trying to kite or get into a better position would be affected by this. Uh, so he's not have that. He's moving out across the map now with a ton of melee. His melee count is up to 12. With three barracks, he's got nine Marauders out as well. This is a scary. deadly push. It's really, really scary. And Sniper doesn't get Banelings, but now he can. He's building more roaches as he sees it and retreats. His third is going to die. If King goes for the third, he will die, but this gives Sniper more time. He's not going to go for it, though. He sees no drones over there. Like, I don't care. He's going in now. Roach speed is not quite done. I, Frankly, I, I don't know if he has enough here, man. Nah, he's I don't see this here, but look at the roaches that are coming out. If he gets those roaches, then it will be tough. He takes down the Hellions before he focuses on the Zerfling reinforcement. It will be fine. Sniper moving in keen as well. And the Roach choke speed. port is working so well for Sniper. Roach speed is done, and you are so right. He's got the concave here with those roaches. Green Tree Spikes for him with chance fuse. No way. It looks like he's held it. Yeah. Pretty... It looked scary, but Super it looked clutch. scarier than it was. Yeah, it, you're right. And it's like... When the first group of units get there, it's like, no way he can hold the units he has, but he's got so much production that he will be able to power those out, especially with that concave Did he had. see his transfuse on the spine crawler? He couldn't, of course, save it, but there were three transfuses, and they were so clutch, but every single transfuse made sure that there were another two, three seconds that he had in order to get his units out. Now he's moving in again, but maybe overextending himself a little bit. There's still a lot of marauders in the composition. He is just trying to work with this article because he's not going to transition or anything like it but Sniper realized it and his plus one plus one will be done in a few seconds yeah. while he gets more and more roaches Keen is just looking at a very tough situation he's, he's kind of he's, he's basically he's, all in he basically is he's, he's kind of running into a wall here he's adding two more barracks and his stim is almost done but uh, Sniper has the position where Baneling Speed is also almost done he's got his three spread insanely good it's almost going up that ramp Keen is He's trying to force us to work. He knows there's no Spire tech, for example. So he's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be fine here. I'm not going to make any anti-air because I know you have Roach speed, so you can't have Mutas yet. That's impossible. He's now getting concussive shells. Uh, Stim is done. Combat shields coming out indicates that he does have some sort of follow-up plan because right now he's got like no Marines on the map. Sniper was well prepared. He knew from the start that this is an option for Keen. And everything that he did aimed for this. Now he's moving in with so many different angles. On trying three. to put Keen into a really bad position and he pulls it off. He's surrounding the army of the Terra player, chasing him off green. Sniper. Here. Yeah, Sniper is on three bases, 32 Zerglings being built, plus one plus one for the Roaches is done. Getting the first attack upgrade for his Zerglings, now even building Banelings, he can bust through his opponent's wall if he wants to. And I think this is exactly what we are going to see next. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a follow-up where a Sniper can actually just do whatever he wants at this point. He can attack here, pick off these depots and then pull back. He could just... Take uh, more drones at home and even take a fourth. He's got Keen surrounded. Here come the Banelings moving in, and now Keen is. It's like it. Banelings 
Just breaking through. There's a lot of Marauders here, but the speed ones are going to be too much. He doesn't have the Hellions to repel them anymore. The Bamers are trying to figure out what they want to hit. Looks like they're going to go for SCVs. The SCV is about to die. Keen calls uh, his own mana mule down to GG's. And his teammate Sniper advances to the third round of Code, where he is going to face the winner of our last best of three of the day of series against MMA. Yep, this is going to be a pretty sick match, but before we go into it, we will have a five-minute break, so we'll see you guys then.